An AI assistant law professor tells me this case works similarly to like one of those elves apps that many of us download during Christmas, where we take a picture, upload it into the app, and then we have a video like this of us dancing as elves. He calls it a deep fake and says that if your picture or image might be out there anywhere online, that it may be hard for you to prevent this from happening. It has become much, much easier to create uh, fake nude photos of, of of basically everybody. Peter Salib is an assistant law professor at U of H, where he focuses on how to govern the creation of artificial intelligence. Is there a way for any of us to be just aware of this, to prevent this from happening to us? One way to avoid this is to have no images of yourself available on the internet. Um, that's not most of us. Uh, aside from that, uh, it's really going to be a question of uh, of enforcement and, and what, what the law allows. 30-year-old Roman Schaffner charged with possession of child pornography. Investigators say he used an artificial intelligence app to alter a picture of a 17-year-old by removing their clothing. That's kind of scary, if I'm being honest with you, um, that this can really happen regardless because few of us don't have any images online. It's it's quite a hard problem. You can think of it as as a as a problem sort of on the on the scale of uh, file sharing. I would suggest um, if this is something that parents are are quite worried about, they should limit the availability of of photos of their kids on, online, uh, either by not posting them and not having their kids post them at all, or at least by making sure that the privacy settings on all of their social media accounts are set to sort of the, the maximal level. As Salib tells me, he expects more crime to involve AI in the coming years, unless it's better regulated. I'm Roman Blogan, KPRC, 2 News.